Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the grid settings very quickly or on the fly in Reaper. Now, if you're not familiar with the grid, we can see it by going up here to the toolbar, choosing it, and it shows these grid lines, which can be set up to anything. I have it set up to be bars and beats. And right now we're seeing quarter notes, which we can see by right clicking over here and it opens up the grid settings. And we can see the grid right here. Set the quarter notes. Now, of course, we could change it right from here, but it's a lot quicker to change it with a keystroke or a toolbar. Now, why this could be useful is when you combine it with snapping. So if snapping is turned on and the setting over here is turned on, grid snap settings follow grid visibility. Then when the grid is visible, these items are going to snap to it like this, here or here or here. But if it's not visible, it's not going to snap anywhere. So that's kind of important when quantizing or when putting our items on the grid. We might want to change the grid settings. Instead of quarter notes, we might want to switch to eighth notes or half notes. But again, it's a lot quicker using a keystroke or a toolbar. Let me show you. Let's go to our actions right here, the action list. And in the filter, we'll type in grid. These are all the actions that are associated with the grid. And you see most of them don't have a keystroke assigned to them just the ones down here, for opening the settings or showing and hiding the grid lines. But we can set up some other keystrokes. Now most of these are meant for being used in the toolbar, and I'll show you that a bit later. But for using keystrokes, we could just choose two. These ones right here, adjust by half or adjust by two. This is gonna cut the value in half, and this one's gonna double it. So it's all relative to the grid settings we have now. In this case, quarter notes. So let's add a few keystrokes to perform these two actions. For doubling it, I'm gonna choose Control and Page Up. Now, of course, you could use any ones you want, any keystrokes that you're not currently using. And then to cut it in half, I'm gonna choose Control and Page Down. So just using these two keystrokes, we can adjust our grid on the fly and very quickly. So again, right now, set the quarter notes. So it's gonna to snap to the nearest quarter note. But if I hit the keystroke to cut it in half, it's now set to eighth notes. So you can zoom in and each one of these points are eighth notes. And it snaps to each one of them, if I get close enough. Let's cut it in half again, and now it's 16th notes. So it's gonna to snap to the nearest 16th note. Or we can go the other way. Let's zoom out, hit the keystroke to double it. Now it's eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, and full bars. So now it's only gonna snap on the nearest bar, here or here. So it's a lot quicker than having to change it each time by right-clicking over here and making our adjustment over here. Now, the only downside of this is it's hard to tell how it's set. You can go up and down and kind of get an idea of what it's set to, but using a toolbar is even more accurate. We can go up here, right-click, and choose Open Toolbar. I'm gonna to choose one of the toolbars that I'm not using. This one right here, toolbar one. And as you can see, it's not being used. But we could add buttons by hitting this, and that opens up this dialog, where we could add actions to create buttons. Let's delete this one. Let's go to add, and that opens up our actions menu. Go back to our filter, type in grid, and here are all the grid options we can create buttons for. Now, instead of choosing adjust for our toolbar, 
we'll choose the set ones where we can set to a specific value. Like one full bar, let's add that one, or a half note, or a quarter note. Now it's skipping the triplets, but if you want to add those, feel free. I'm just using the ones I use the most. So quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and thirty second notes. I'll select and close. Now they're all right here. Let's put them in order. And the toolbar is going to look just like this. So now I can hit save, close it, and we created this toolbar. Let's put it up over here. And we can move the toolbar to different places by right clicking and change the position of it. At the main toolbar, which replaces the main toolbar here, let's put that back. At the top of the main window, and it goes up here, it can float, go in the toolbar docker, or we can close it. Let's float it so we can move it around wherever we want. And now right from here, we could choose the buttons, making it easy to see what setting we've chosen. Want full bars? Click this, and we have full bars. 16th notes, now we have 16th notes, 32nd notes, and so on. But what's nice about this is even if we use the keystroke to double it or cut it in half, we're going to see which one we chose. So we'll cut it in half, and it goes to 16th notes. Cut it in half again, 32nd notes, or if we double it, 16th notes, 8th notes, quarter notes, half notes, and full bars. Now if we double it again, that choice doesn't show up in the toolbar because we didn't create a button for it, so it doesn't show up. But if we move back down, they show up again. At any point, we could just click it. So to me, that's a lot quicker than choosing it over here by right-clicking and changing it here. That's a bit slower. I prefer to use the keystroke. And if I'm not sure and want to see the settings, I open that toolbar. And we can see it right here. So that's pretty much it. That's changing our grid settings very fast or on the fly in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.